Good morning. Out here on Lake Berryessa. Pretty cold ride getting from Arkham Cove up here to the mouth of the main lake. Me and Carol are going to start off trying some uh, sling blades, hoochies, things like that going slow. And see what happens. It's beautiful out here though. It's going to be a nice day. No real wind chop or anything today. So, surface temps looking at like 55, 56. The sun's coming A little in. warmer than other lakes. So, we're going to troll slow with blades, hoochies, maybe apex, uh, maybe even throw on some cripplers and humdingers for a while and see what is happening at Lake Berryessa. Yeah, it's pretty nice out, so we'll start tying some stuff up and drop on in. Okay. Get our fish on. We are. Gonna get our fish on, guys. Yeah. All right, we'll get back with you here. Okay, I think we got the first fish on at Berryessa here. Oh boy. Let's see what it is. Let's see what we got here, guys. Sure, slimy out Cut here. It up. Let's see. Not so sure I'd recommend Berryessa just yet, but we'll see how the fishing is. Well, let's see what we got here. This feels pretty pretty healthy right now. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, here he comes. Definitely a fish on. Ooh, 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 oh, boy. That was on a hoochie oh, sling blade. Get him on your side of the boat. Yeah, I think so. Other side of the downrigger. Yeah, right here. Right here. Over. Shorten the line. Carol's just, just teaching Carol how to direct a fish at the I'm boat. Go. Wait, I didn't. That's a kokanee. I'm <laughs> netting him underneath the down. Okay, first kokanee of the season. Good looking one, too. Yeah, he's great. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let me throw the boat back in gear. Okay, I got the net here. You take the net. Let me get the boat moving. Pretty slimy. It's good size compared to uh, Billard's Bar or Whiskey Town. Oh yeah, he's nice. Good size. Yeah, I got some uh, pliers in my back pocket. <clears throat> okay, here's some. I didn't expect here, hold this. All righty, here we go, guys. Look at that. Nice, healthy fish there, y'all. Coconut salmon. <laughs> They're hard to grab. Uh, we got him on a sling, ba sling blade. And a hoochie. I don't know what color hoochie we got on here. Pink. Oh, Rob's saying pink. Okay. We we'll get him in the ice and keep him. See that? A good patience and perseverance pays off. So there it is, right there. First fish on of the day. He's super slimy. Super slimy. Yeah. Okay. First coconut of the season here. There we go. Nice and very silvery, very healthy. 15 plus inches. Oh yeah, he's very, he's yeah. a great one. And he put up a good fight too. Yep. And that's exactly what we're looking for out here, Rob. Okay. Um, last year, Rob came out here. Tell us about your experience last year. I don't recall, I got a video up though. Okay, well, we'll get back to you. We just uh, got that fish on and now we're getting ready to set up our downrigger again, as you can see. Um, that was the first fish on of the day. It's beautiful out here. It's really starting to warm up. And um, the day is just now starting to really peak. And as soon as you know that you get that first bite, as soon as you get that first bite and that first fish is on, you know that things are starting to turn your way, right, at the lake. So we haven't been here very long. Um, so that's a good sign. And um, so if that means that the fish are gonna start biting, then hey, we're all for it. We're waiting for it. We're great, we're great, we're ready got our net going and it's exactly what we wanted today it's beautiful out here today trying to hook up some more fish today see if we can catch some limits out here and um, we do have a couple of rods in the water right now in the middle you see right here by our engine we have a we have our abu garcia veritas and veritas some of you say veritas and some of you guys say veritas i knew rob was gonna say that of course so that one in the middle is, um, what do we have on that bait right there in the middle? Uh, we have a Rapala, and what color are you using today? Fire Tiger. Oh, we're using 
fire tiger, uh, Rapala out here. Rapalas are usually pretty good. Uh, actually, Rapalas can catch bass and they catch trout and everything else. So it just depends on what the fish are biting on for the day. So we have that one down the middle. The only problem we've been having with the water today is that there is some slime in the water today. You'll see it going by in the water as we're here um, videoing. I have this video out here on the water. You can see some little balls of slime out there and those are kind of getting on the line today and that's getting a little bit irritating. You can see some on my line right now down here. So that can come right down on the line if you go right through some of it. And we've been trying to kind of, uh, kind of beat the system here with that slime in the water today. So there are some really big patches of slime out here. So we're trying to be careful to steer around that. Um, right now I'm looking over at that island out in the middle. I'm thinking that might be a good place to go next. So we're, we're kind of tra trawling around out here in the water to see where the fish are seeming to congregate. Uh, actually when we caught that fish we didn't see anything on our fish finder. So he just came out of nowhere and just um, attacked that lure and that's uh, where we're at right now. So hoping to catch some more here in a few minutes. Okay, we trolled for about five hours. One little kokanee. We're trying uh, Z-Man, Ned Rig, TRDs along the bank, see if we can find any bass. Kind of salvage the rest of the day on some bass, maybe. Trout bite was none to be found for me. I'm sure they're out there. I might try the narrows here in a little while. But in the meantime, throwing TRDs for a little while. Okay, we'll let you know what's happening here. Fish on. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, damn, that was a big bass. Oh, let's. He shook the hook, but he was a mondo. The spotlight, that was. Huge, he was so big, his mouth just opened right up. I seen it. It was a big, large mouth. Throw it back out there. Check it back out there. I'm just gonna catch really big. Yeah. Okay, that's all good. Oh man, okay. that's that huge bass. We'll see if we can get another one on. There's some around here. Fish on. Feel like it's running pretty good too. Let's see. Took a long time to stick anything over here. All right, little smallmouth bass. Oh. Yeah, he's a little guy. Smallmouth. He took it down kind of deep though. Like... Do you? Good. Yeah, you know, 14 inches, something like that. Can't complain, it took a long time to get bit, so <laughs> we're happy with that. All right. That was on a Green Pumpkin Nico rig. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, it's 14 inches. Not too bad. You yeah. know. It's going to be a little tough getting a hook at him, but I will. It's a couple of so. on there. We weren't even here very long. Either. Yeah, I've, I've been hit a couple times. It's a tree over here. Look like they might be holding in there. So I will get back in there. Get back to you shortly. We got a little fish on. Okay, we got a bass, it looks like. And here he comes. He's coming up to the boat. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping, though. He's jumping. He's a jumper. <sighs> Jumping queen. Oh, she's trying to go in the boat. Here we go. Have that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that little small mouth, I think it is. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get him. He's right there. All right. Here we go. This, he came right on quick. Whoop, dripping on your coat. Right. Ow. Everything. Okay, we caught, um, we caught a, a bass here. And you know what? We caught him on the peanut butter and jelly. Right here, I'm gonna, let's see, what am I using here? It's a peanut butter and jelly. And I have a weight, a regular weight on it. But he is jumping around in some underwater trees down there. Um, I seen those on the fish finder, some trees down there, and I seen, um, it looked like a little bit of a bassy area. So um, I did, I was um, fishing with a, with a green Ned rig, and then I switched it over to this peanut butter and jelly lure. TRD. TRD, and just a basic hook, and we also 
type of fishing. And like I said, uh, the reeds down here are underwater, and uh, it looks like there's actually other bass here, so the bass bite is on. So keep watching. We're catching bass now. We're gonna have to call today. It's getting a little bit later. Pretty choppy. The wind's picked up pretty strong. It's cold out here. Getting cold. <laughs> but we did catch fish, so we did catch some bass. So all you bass tournament guys, there are definitely bass at Berryessa. We had a great time catching them. They're a little bit of a challenge to catch, but they are able to be caught. And you know, I don't know where the biggest ones are. I know I lost the big one today, but it happens, and it happens to the best of us. So there's a little bit of pain, but without without pain, there's no gain, right? And the first kokanee of the year. First kokanee of the year. Over 15 inches, so. Woo, woo, and guess who that is? Yeah, that's right, Carol, <laughs> right here. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. And okay. I mean, we did try to catch more kokanee, but we got one, and that was all we could get on the hook, so we tried. <laughs> there's a lot of slimy stuff in the lake out there that keeps dragging into your lines yeah, and stuff, too. Yeah, still a little too, early so. for kokanee, too. Still a little bit early, early don't you think? Yeah, we'll try again. Okay. In a few more weeks, we're expecting it to really pick up, guys. So we'll see what happens when the fish really get, you know, get on and start making, you know, get on the beds and start making eggs and all that fun stuff. And that's just how it is. So you guys, peace and love and have a great time. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Here's Marios Lake, guys. As you can see, it is windy. It's rough. It's choppy. The sun is hidden behind all of that overcast sky, so it got really cold out here. And so we're packing it up early. There's a lot of the day left, but I just don't think it's going to be a quality day left. So that's why we're taking off back to the boat ramp. So enjoy.